Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're looking at factorising. Factorising just means put an expression into brackets. For example, here we have 4x minus 12, we're going to factorise it as 4x minus 3. The opposite is expanding. And if you've not watched my video on expanding brackets uh, already, the link will be in the top right of the video now and it will also be in the description. OK, let's look at some examples. 15x plus 35. For this one, we're looking at uh, looking for something that divides 15x and also divides 35. And you should see that the number 5 divides both of those uh, terms. Now, we know that 5 goes on the outside. What goes on the inside? Well, 5 times something is 15x. 5 times 3x will be 15x. 5 times something is 35. 5 times 7 will be 35 and we get 5 times 3x plus 7. You should always check your work by expanding those brackets again. 5 times 3x will give you 15x. 5 times 7 will give you 35. OK, next one. Minus 6a squared plus 3ab. We're looking for something that divides minus 6a squared and also divides 3ab. That will be minus 3a. The 3 comes from dividing the 6 and the 3. That's the number that divides the 6 and the 3. The a divides the a squared, and it also divides a, b. I've made it negative because the first term is negative. OK, minus 3a times something is minus 6a squared. That will be uh, 2a, because minus 3a times 2a will be minus 6a squared. Now, Minus 3a times minus b will give you 3ab. Notice here that the negative negative gives you the plus, and you have to make sure you get the signs right. If you put a positive here, you would get the wrong answer. It has to be minus 3a times minus b is positive 3ab. If you can't remember your rules for multiplying negative numbers, you need to watch my video on negative numbers before we continue. That video will be linked at the top right of the video now. Okay, next one, 12m plus 8n minus 20. Okay, for this one, um, we can divide all of those terms by 4. So we put a 4 on the outside. They also can be divided by 2, but 4 is bigger. So we need to put 4 instead of 2. And you will get 4 times 3m, 4 times 2n, and 4 times minus 5 will give you 12m plus 8n minus 20. The one in red is if you take out a 2. And although that is mathematically correct, it is still a correct factorization. It is not the one that will get you marks in an exam. Because you have to take out the biggest thing, and the biggest thing is 4, not 2. OK, next one. 10ab plus 2b minus 4b squared. All of these terms can take out a 2b. All of those numbers are even, so they can be divided by 2. And all those terms have a b in, so we can take a, t a 2 and a b out. Then uh, what's left inside is 2b times 5a will be 10ab. 2b times 1 will be 2b. And 2b times minus 2b will be minus 4b squared. Again, you should be factorising, uh, sorry, expanding all of these questions after you've factorised, just to make sure you have done it perfectly correct. And when you expand, you should get the original question. OK? Right, there we go. So now you've seen today's video, you can try these practice questions. Uh, so pause the video now and try to factorise all of these yourself. Some of these are quite tricky, so really think about uh, these and make sure each time you're taking out the biggest thing that divides all of them. OK? Pause the video as I say, and I'll reveal the answers when you're ready in three, two, one. Okay, did you get it correct? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching this week's video from Advanced Maths. We have plenty more videos coming every week. So please remember to like and subscribe to show your support to the channel and not to miss any future videos. We're covering GCSE, A-level and IB maths uh, with quick and simple explanations. And there are new videos coming very soon, as I say. Thanks for watching and good luck in your exams.